Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 110 on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. It's a great problem to review core concepts um, in probability as well as data analysis. And you can use this problem if you're a teacher in Florida preparing for the FTCs or a teacher in another state like Massachusetts or California or New York preparing for your teacher certification exam because this is going to go over some core ideas in, in probability and data analysis. So let's take a closer look. Let's first always read over the problem. A survey of 30 classes at Bay Beach High School was taken to find the total number of left-handed students in each class. The table below shows the results. Number of left-handed students, here. Frequency, number of classes, here. Now take a moment, study this. Read this over because it's going to be really important when we go and answer this problem. As you read it over, I'm going to, I'm going to continue reading here. A class was randomly selected. What is the probability the class has three left-handed students? Now read over, and then we have options. Three out of ten, one out of three, three out of thirty, one out of thirty. Take a moment, uh, digest this problem. I want to focus in on the chart here. This is our first uh, piece. This is our data piece. And this is actually a histogram chart. It shows the frequency of an event. So one classroom had zero students with left handy. There were no, no lefties there. They were all right-handed students. Two classes had one student each. Five classes had two left-handed students. And we, would, we could continue. There's, a, there's 10 classes that had three left-handed students. And we could continue on this chart. Then there's this aspect of probability. Probability looks at, um, when we're thinking about probability, we look at um, all the events and the event that we're looking at, the given event. The, so in this case, it's going to be um, number, of, you know, number of classes with three students in it. So if we're thinking about all the events, we're, we're actually thinking about all the classes in that school, right? How many classes make up our make up a hundred percent. This is our part here. So I should put part to whole. Think of our whole as a hundred percent of the school and our part is that part of the school that has three left-handed students. Well a hundred percent of our school is all the classes which means we have to add up all the all the events or um, all the classes that are appear here. So if we add this up one plus two plus 5, plus 10, plus 8, plus 4. Do that now. Add up. I'll add that up. Do it. You do it. Okay, I'm going to jump in too. I see a 10. I see a 2 and an 8, so that's another 10. I see a 1, 5, and 4, that's another 10. So if I add all those up, there's a total of 30 classes that make up 100% or all the possible classes out there. Out of all the classes in the school, or 100% of my school, um, how many? Uh, what's the probability that I could randomly pick one out of the out of the 30, and it have uh, three left-handed students? And we look. The number of classes that have three left-handed students are 10. So out of all the out of all our uh, classes here, 10 out of the 30 have three left-handed students. Now 10 out of 30 could be reduced to 1 over 3, or, or we could think of this as 1 out of 3 classes have 3 left-handed students. That would be the probability. So uh, look at this. We've got a, definitely a data analysis uh, problem because you've got to interpret the histogram here that measures the frequency of an event. And then we also have a probability question that looks at um, looking at the total event, what's the probability that a given event's going to happen out of it, uh, all the uh, classes? And we figured we had to figure out that out of the 30 classes, one out of three classes are going to have those three left-handed students. Whenever you think of probability, you should also be thinking um, of part-to-whole relationships, part-to-whole, and we're thinking about the likelihood of something happening. That's our part out of the whole. So we could also think in terms of percents you know, fractions, you know, decimals, things like that. Those all could be uh, 
use to uh, uh, describe the probability of a given event. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you found this video helpful. Okay, take care, team. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out, I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.